Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Tab A with S Pen. And uh, this is part one. We're just going to walk you through the basic prompts here. In part two, we'll show you actually how to set up the tablet, adding widgets, customizing your home screen, things like that. So let's get started. Go ahead and hit start. First thing I always ask you to do is to choose a Wi Fi network. So we're going to get on Larry H. Parker and type in our password so this is again your home internet whatever your wi-fi is hit connect connect uh it will connect we're going to hit next okay terms and conditions next agree so after this uh it should do any updates the software needs and then it's going to ask you to sign into your uh, Google account, which here we are. And so you're going to put in your email. Okay. And then next it will ask for your password. Okay. Once you put your password in, it will ask you to accept again. It will check your information. You can hit next. It will ask you to add a credit card or PayPal account for downloading apps or for excuse me, buying apps or books or movies, things like that. You don't have to do one. Just go ahead and hit no thanks. Continue. Then the next thing it should ask you to do is either sign into your Samsung account or to create a passcode for the tablet. Let's see how good my skills are. My guess is it's going to ask to sign into the Samsung account. We shall see. All right. So now it's giving you the option to add another email account uh, in case you have uh, another email or multiple emails that you want uh, on the tablet to be updating. You can sign into those now. I don't have any for now. I want to put it in. So I'm just going to put not now and next. Uh, it will ask you to protect your tablet with a pin, password, or pattern. I'm just going to uncheck that. I don't want to have a password on my tablet this time, but you can do this later in the settings under um, security. Skip. Skip anyway. Okay, so it is giving me the option to restore the tablet based on an older tablet that I did back up in the past. I don't want to do that. I just want to set it up like a brand new tablet. So I'm going to hit don't restore. And then sign into our Samsung account. If you don't have a Samsung account, um, go ahead and hit create account and sign into it. This is really important because there's a lot of extra apps that you have access to. One important one being find my mobile, which is if your tablet was stolen, it'll help you recover your uh, tablet or figure out where it is. So go ahead and either again, create account or sign in. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account right now. Okay. Once you're uh, signed in or have created your account, it's going to ask you if you want to back up and sync your data. I'm going to hit yes. I do want it to back up my data next. Okay. And again, it's giving me an option to restore some information from an older device where I use Samsung backup. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to hit later. And then this is kind of cool. So it will give you weather updates on your uh, lock screen um, or on the home screen, excuse me, but you have to give it consent to use uh, GPS. So just keep them checked. If you do, if you don't uncheck the boxes, hit next. I'm cool with this. I love to get updated on the weather. Very important. Finally, there's a cool feature called my Knox. It's a feature for people who are going to use this for business and personal use. You can actually separate your business email, business information from the regular stuff using this app. Um, so I'm going to skip this for now. You will have an opportunity later to install this if you change your mind. But if you're just going to use this for more personal family, things like that, you don't need it. So we hit finish. Let's try to install. We'll do that later. So this is cool right here. You have an option that's uh, it's called Samsung Smart Switch, and basically, right, let's just go ahead and download it. Tap on it here and download it, or just install it. Really, this will allow you to transfer data from a device 
like an Android device or even possibly an iPhone or iPad, uh, you can transfer that information over to this tablet using this app. Uh, very efficient, it gets everything from music, pictures, movies, contacts, um, text messages, well not, not on the tablet but on the phones normally. Um, and it's a really good resource so if you tr want to transfer some information from another device, this is the app to use. And that's it guys, we are set up and ready to go. Um, I'm going to stop here and um, go ahead and watch part two if you want to kind of see how I actually set up the tablet and um, different apps that I'll download and just different things I'll do to set up like with email and different things like that. So um, watch part two if you want to get more information. But I hope you did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. And make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.